Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back to this series of uh, BOO exam electrical A6 and uh, this time I will uh, tackle some of the theoretical questions I received some requests to tackle some of those some of the questions uh, the theoretical questions you can easily google them I found some of them need some experience so I picked a couple of questions about transformers and I will pick uh, some other questions uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, this, uh, the, the theoretical questions, I found them in every single exam after, uh, after the pandemic and even before that. So it's like a standard question, okay? So uh, I, this is, I only collected the two questions about transformers, okay? So these two questions about transformers and both questions are related to the core of the transformer. So let's start with the with the first question it says here a distribution uh, transformer is uh, rated 18 kva and the uh, transformer voltage ratio is 20 kilovolt by 480 uh, volt and it work at uh, 60 hertz so that is the rating of that specific transformer the question was can we use this transformer to uh, basically supply 15 kVA instead of 18 kVA, but add for, for 415 volt and 50 hertz, why or why not? Here we have two things that we have to pay attention. The current rating and the flux in the core. These are the two things that you need to pay attention when you want a transformer to use it in a different system, then I'm changing the voltage, changing the power rating, and I am changing as well the frequency. So let's start first by checking the power rating of the transformer. Okay, so the transformer is designed to meet these specifications. So I, in the secondary of the first transformer is equal to 18,000 divided by the voltage, which is 480, and this will give me a current equal to 37.5 amps. So it means that the transformer can handle up to 37.5 amps. Now, when I change the rating, IS2 is equal to 15 times 10 to power 3, so I reduce the power and I reduce the voltage as well to so the current become equal to 36.1 amp. So basically the conductors that I'm using here, I'm using this current. So that should be okay from the power rating, from the current rating that it should be okay because the conductors that I'm using to handle 37.5, they definitely can handle a less current. So there is no an overloading from the thermal perspective. So this is the first point. Now the second point is about the 60 to 50 Hertz. I prepare a video. Uh, I prepared a video about can I use transformer from 60 to 50 or 50 to 60 Hertz. I will keep a link for this video to give you more insight. But that question is more tricky because I changed the frequency and also I am changing the voltage rating. So it's not trivial. Okay, so let's see how we handle this. So the formula that I will be using is this, the voltage per term, that is the fundamental formula for designing the transformer, is equal to 4.44 times F, the frequency, times the flux density, times A. A is the cross-section area of the core, okay? Now, why this formula? Uh, again, I give more explanation in that video that I will leave it uh, a link for it in the video description. Okay, so now, scenario number one, which is the first scenario, I use the transformer at 480, so 480, divided by the number of terms is equal to 4.44, times the frequency is 60, times B1, okay, times A. Now, A and N are constant. These are the number of turns in the winding in the secondary. This I cannot change because I'm using transformer as it is. I'm not doing any change in the design. And A also stays the same. 
because A is the cross sectional area of the core, and as far as I'm not changing the, trans the transformer, nothing will change. In the scenario number two, now I change the voltage to 415, but divide by the same number of N, 4.44 times I will work at 50 Hertz and this will produce a, another flux density B2 times A. Okay. Then I will divide these two equations together. So the N will cancel with the N, the A will cancel with the A and this will cancel with this. So basically I will have 480 divided by 415 is equal to 60 B1 divide by 50 B2. Now, before we start, the transformer was designed at this condition. So it's designed at B1. So the transformer can handle B1. The question is, can the transformer handle B2 or not? So from this, your B2 would equal to 415 times 60 times B1 divided by 480 times 50, and this will give me 1.037 B1. It means the following, that the second transformer or the second condition, you will have higher flux than the first one, okay? Now, higher flux, what does this mean? When we design the transformer, we use the BH curve. So this is the B and this is the H. Okay, and the BH is something like this. We usually, when we design the transformer, we select the flux density to be clo closer to the saturation region. So the B that we design the transformer is around 1.9 Tesla to 2.1 Tesla. Why we do that? Because we want to increase the flux density as much as we can. Now the frequency is a fixed thing to reduce the cross-section area of the core. When I reduce the cross-section area of the core, then I reduce the cost of the transformer. So I already designed the transformer to work near the saturation point. Now, when I push the transformer further at, at a bit higher value, now I am not sure how deep in saturation I am. Now, saturation is bad for the transformer because this can cause overheating for the core. So until unless I know what is the design value of the T that I'm using for that specific transformer, it's not safe to operate the transformer at this, uh, at this frequency. Now, let's go for the second question. It says here, why the transformer iron core is laminated and Name three causes of damage to the, to the core. Now, why the core is laminated? It, with this uh, illustration, it will be clear. Now, once the flux is going through the core material, it will go per perpendicular. Now, let's go back to the basic principle of transformers here. So this is a 2D of the transformer. So basically here, we energize the transformer using an AC. So we have a flux that change with time. Uh, sorry, current change with time. Current change with time will produce a flux. Okay, this is the flux, which will lead to B. B is nothing but the flux divided by the cross-sectional area, which is this one. This is the cross-sectional area of the, of the core. Now, if I have a flux that change with time, will also produce a current. So the current, if it change with time, it will produce the flux. If, if there's a flux, change with time, it will produce a current. So this red circle is basically a current, okay? Now this current called eddy currents. So those currents, we call them the eddy current. And those current, if the core is not laminated, it will produce a lot of heat and hence increase the losses in the core significantly. Okay, we call it the eddy current loss in the core. Now, when I laminate the core, so what does it mean to laminate the core? It basically to make the core instead of one bulk cross section area, this cross section area is achieved by them by uh, stacking laminated core sheets. These laminations are 
electrically insulated. So each sheet is basically electrical insulation. So it will limit the current, the ED currents, to only circulate on those sheets. And the thickness of those sheets are very, very small. It can be as small as 0.5 millimeter. So when you confine the current on those very small cross-sectional area, you are basically reducing, you reduce the, the ED current. And that is the purpose that, that why you are used to use the ED current losses. Then it says, name three causes of damage to the core. The first cause of damage to the core is a short circuit. Transformers are subjected to short circuit. Okay, if there is a short circuit, this will lead to an electromechanical force. Okay, and this electromechanical force can cause damage because of the huge mechanical force happening in the core, it can damage the core. So that is the most severe reason for damaging the core. Number two, overexcitation. Now, if I basically increase the voltage, okay, that we apply to the transformer, then you are increasing the flux density. If you increase the flux density, then basically this is called overexcitation. This will cause some sort of saturation in the core, and this can basically can cause heating, and this can damage the laminations between the core. Number three is the regular aging process. Because the core made of lamination, they are vibrating all the time. The sound we hear when we come close to the transformer, we call it the humming sound. This humming sound is basically the sound of the core vibration. Now, because of this vibration 24-7, those laminations with time will get damaged. And when we damage them, then the sheet becomes touching each other. And we will not have those laminations electrically separated from each other, which will lead to increase the ED current, which will lead to increase the heating, further damage to the laminations, increase the, the losses, and so on and so forth. So these are the three main reasons for damage for the, for the core.